Good morning. So today, it's the day that the company to take the photographs and the videos of the house. So it's time to hide everything and make sure it's tidy. Now, I am quite good because I always do make my bed in the morning. So let's hide those under the pillow. Let's get, and so I just want to get rid of all these things on the side. And it's okay. Oh, I forgot to put the perfume on this morning. Best do that. Need to smell nice at all times. Right, so let me turn the telly on. All right. And then I've got these things to hide. So basically, as you remember, the last photos were so cluttered. And this time, we'll make sure nothing is on show. Shovel those under there. A quick wipe. Don't worry, this towel's going in the wash. Just give it a bit of a dust. Anyway. I'll tell you, it's a lot easier to do this time because there's hardly any stuff around. Um, let's unplug these and hide them. We don't want these. Um, so, so, yeah, I'm feeling a lot less stressed about the whole process this time. Maybe because we've been through it before. Um, well, I'm probably a bit dark faced in the window, and I maybe because we've been through it before, and uh, this time we can uh, we know a little bit more what to expect and what pitfalls to uh, watch out for. And uh, we just have to be hopeful that we have picked the right estate agents. I'm sure we have. Can't be worse. And they are one of the top four in the area. So, the, like I said, I did interview the four that rated the highest. Oh, gosh. Where to hide everything? Get in there. These drawers are stuffed with stuff because I'm forever hiding them. And this doesn't fit in anywhere. So let's shove you under the bed. There. Bed made. Oh, I have a fan over here. Let's hide that in the wardrobe. looks nice and clear. I'll probably bring the hoover up and uh, uh, just give it a hoover as well. Yeah. Oh, the pillows are wonky. Why is one higher than the other? You have to get the fluff up. That's probably a little bit anal, isn't it? Making sure the pillows What's going on? I think I told you the other day, I'm getting really OCD about all this stuff. I'm sure the photos, it's not going to matter if my pillows aren't even, but... <laughs> Madness, isn't it? <sighs> right, let's go to the next room. So this room is easy, because... Let's make sure there's... No cobwebs and things, and which I'm sure they can edit out of pictures, but and I don't let anyone in. Well, I don't come in here, and no one comes in here, so nice and easy. And the same with this one, just make sure. Oh, I've got any cobwebs. Yeah, you see, I just don't use the rooms if I don't need to. So they can stay as big as they need to. Uh, there's the bathroom. And the bathroom. So what I've been doing in the bathroom is 
I've been keeping this like old bin here and put my toiletries in. So I can just pick that up and hide that in a wardrobe. I started doing that one when we had those viewings. That can be hidden somewhere. And it just makes it easier to put things away. Then I'll hide the, the floor mat just, oh, that's not that tight, It'll get rid of the towels. Um, just make it look a bit shiny. So that'll be upstairs done. So I went to visit my family for a couple of days this week, uh, which was really nice. We just have a nice walk along the seaside. I didn't have very long to spend with them because of work and the hard stuff, but still nice to get away. And as always, I get all the questions. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? Should you keep your house anyway? Um, it's actually quite a good thing because every time somebody asks me the same the questions again, I don't want to say the same questions because to them they're new questions. They're just they're my family, they're concerned about me. They just want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to be safe. You know, it's nice when people care. But the more I talk about it with people, every time I have this conversation, I I kind of know I'm doing the right thing. It just keeps reinforcing to myself. Never once have had a doubt about this plan. And I haven't even had a wobble. Now that's not to say I won't have a wobble when it's actually happening. And I'm going to go ahead and do it. But I get, you know, I'm I'm forever watching videos on uh, Malaysia and things to do and uh, Vietnam and uh, Japan and all sorts of places. And it just gives me more inspiration of all these wonderful places to go and see. I thought I had quite a good itinerary planned, but there's so much more to see. Um, so I keep adding and adding and adding. Now, I don't know if I told you or not, but I had a conversation with my pension uh, guy. <coughs> I can't remember if I mentioned this or not. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a, a call with him because I'll be 55 uh, next summer. And... Uh, when I set my pension up when I was young, you know, I asked them, what's the youngest retirement date? And they said 55. So I said, well, tick that because I want to retire as early as possible. Now, of course, as you get nearer to that, you, you don't feel like you're old enough to retire. But um, it's really cool because they send you the statement every year and they tell you, um, you know, what you could, you're not, I don't know, what you could, and an annuity you could buy, which gives you a, a set income each year for the rest of your life. Um, but it doesn't go up with inflation. And as my pension guy said to me, he said, um, you're too young for one because it's just going to be worth peanuts uh, by the time you get to even take your state pension. He said, so I really don't recommend that. Um, so he was going through the uh, flexible drawdown method with me. And, um, well, for, for a start, uh, I have more in my pension pot than I thought I had. I mean, I have my statements every year, um, and, but they're always changing, of course. Um, and the way he explained it to me, because I also said to him, because you can have it so that you never run out of money. So, you, so if, you're, if your pot goes up by 8%, you know, you only take 5 or 6%, you, and you change it each year like that. I mean, there's so many ways to do it. Um, to make sure it never runs out of money. But I said to him, well, what if I don't care about running out of money? I mean, I've given my boys enough. What if I just want to spend it? And he said, this is the great thing about how personal pensions can be done now. There's so much flexibility. Um, so, and then I said, okay then, so this is how much like, I think I need to live on. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm going to have it from a bit from investments and that and then top it up. And I said, so what happens if I say to you, um, oh, I want to go to Japan this year. Can I have an extra £6,000? He said, well, it's your money. He said, we just put it, make sure that it's not going to, you know, upset the system too much. He goes, but I don't think you're going to have to worry about this. What a relief. Make sure you have personal pensions. If there's any young people watching this, which I don't think they are. You're usually my age watching this. But if you are, make sure you have a personal pension. Because... At the time, I mean, I felt the same as a lot of people having one. 
it's very sometimes it's really hard to pay into it because you see that money going when you need that money but honestly guys it so pays off in the end if you can do it do it it will make a difference and especially now that you don't have to just take the annuity option you have different flexible options that you can tailor it to fit your lifestyle so for instance i'm not going to need as much money when i'm 80 if i'm still around then because well i'm not going to be running around as much am i well you never know i mean i've been on tours and i've um, i've been there with 76 year olds and they're faster than me so i'm not making general uh, you know i'm not saying everybody at 80 isn't running around still but in general i'm not going to be as fast at 80 as i am at 55 so and i'm not super fast now but you know what i mean so being able to spend that money when you need it rather than later on i mean what are you saving it for and so especially after i had that conversation with him i was like yeah i i, I don't regret my decision i am ready to go i really really want to make sure i travel before i'm not able to do it and so this is the right time for me so no i don't regret this at all but i do like it when people keep challenging my my decisions but it's always good to rethink things isn't it anyway let's go and get the women downstairs then when i sold all my cupboards i had nowhere to hide anything anymore so i found i have a hole under oh no i've still got stuff in there but i've got space to hide some of the paperwork for now Oh, I have to find somewhere to put my camera. <clears throat> oh, gosh. This is what I do all the time. Just hide things. All right. Then I'll go find somewhere. To hide the camera and the printer. Because my chest in the front room is full of stuff. Hide and seek. It is, it's like hide and seek. <laughs> and my son's coming on Sunday to collect the beds and all of his stuff because he's moving into his new house. He's just brought one and he's moving in on Monday. So he's coming Sunday with a van to collect the beds, the garden furniture, all his boxes and when he collects all those boxes out the garage I'll have loads more space and I'll be able to um, get a lot more stuff in there I'm going to get my small hoover to do the edges okay now I know a lot of you are not fans of my multicolored wallpaper be honest although I do agree it would be better if I painted it all neutral I'm just not gonna get that done before I go to Australia let's be realistic so I have concentrated on doing the things that I can do to make a difference like the kitchen <coughs> clearing decluttering and um, you know, it's up to, and this is one of the things I liked about my agent. She was very much like, it's up to her to big up the house to them and explain. It's just wallpaper. Um, so let's hope she does that. Let's hope she does that. Um, I did put a lighter tablecloth on here. <clears throat> so it didn't look so dark in this area. Gosh, it echoes in here. Now I don't have all my cupboards, it echoes in here. It's so, it looks so big. I could dance in here now. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. And to be fair, I've been going through all my vinyls before my son takes them on Sunday and I have been dancing to them quite a lot in here. Yeah, I sing and dance to myself. Oh well, it keeps me happy. <laughs> This is my current Hoover. Now I am known for, well, I always think my house is the place where Hoovers come to die because I always seem to kill them off pretty quickly. 
I've had many Hoovers over the time. I uh, was a big fan of Dyson for a while, but gosh, they're so expensive and mine never lasted very long. Um, I'm a fan of, I do actually like Vax uh, Hoovers. I do find them very good, but again, they're quite expensive. And I th Vax, I think, excel at floor cleaners. But I, so I would never have another floor cleaner but a Vax one. So I had um, the Vax carpet washer, um, which uh, they've always been excellent. Uh, the, uh, the Vax floor cleaners and the steamers, and they've always been excellent, but they're hoovers. I just didn't find them very good. <coughs> I had this one, it didn't cost me very much, uh, Kitas. So it's, it's like that, but I'll tell you, um, it's a fraction of the cost. And um, it's so lightweight, easy to do, and uh, can whiz around the house pretty quickly with it. Now, the only problem I have with this is I don't find that it works very well if you put the small head on to like hoover the edges. So I actually kept my old Vax for that and I just used that because I didn't find the head, <laughs> like <laughs> this head worked on the Vax very well. So I used the Vax for doing the edges with the small end on and I use this for like doing the main bits. But like I say, you can, Hoover's come here to die. I'm no good with them. I don't know what I do to them. It's just one of those things. Oh, right, so just the kitchen now. So I'll just hide a load of things in my handbag and hide it under the, in a cupboard somewhere. which don't have a lot of space. <gasps> Blimey. Now, when I emptied the big cupboards in the, in the front room when I sold them, um, I had to do this, I'd have to show you. This is bizarre. This, they're in my kitchen cupboards. Look, I had to put things in my kitchen cupboards. They're the only ones I got left. With no space in the garage. So oh, it meant I had to clean the kitchen cupboards out there. This is the problem when you're trying to declutter. Oh well no, I've done a lot, but when you're trying to declutter, but people come in for viewings and stuff, because every time they come around, you gotta hide everything in the cupboard. Get in there. Just get it out of sight. And although you try and do it in a methodical way, there's just no room to put everything. But not lose my glasses. Anyway, need to just get the kitchen tidy up. I'd stuff in the oven. I'll also hide things in the dishwasher. All the tea towels can go in the dishwasher. So it's just clear. Empty the bins, clean it up, yeah, and then we'll be done. So, let's see how we get on today. Oh, I probably need to, yes, I need to sweep outside as well, because we want those front photos to be, mwah, move those freaking bins this time. <laughs> well, it was quite a manic day. So, they came and they did the floor plans, they took all the pictures, we moved the cars and the bins out the way to take a picture at the front of the house. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't catch next door's roof because as some people say, it looks like it's on fire or been on fire. Um, and the picture has still got it in there. So I hope nobody else notices. They obviously haven't had a fire. It's just a discoloring at the front of the house. But um, anyway, I do think the pictures are better. And they did a video. And that was sort of lunchtime. And then this evening, I just got an email to say it's gone live already on Brightmove. Let me show you. I'm sure you'll agree the pictures do look a little bit better. Oh, gosh. Come on. So it looks a bit better, doesn't it? And... Let's see what I mean about the house, and there you go. And then they've done, I mean look, it looks they're nice and clear, doesn't it? Anyhow, 
There's a couple of things I'm not very happy with it about. I wasn't happy about uh, showing the marks on the vinyl. You don't have to show those in the pictures. Anyway, uh, much better than the old ones. And then we've done a video. Right, today we're in Sanctus Drive. <laughs> right in the heart of Stratford, at the top end of Old Town. So you can walk into town from here in a matter of minutes. Nice flat walk. Uh, we've got parking for two vehicles on the front. And as you can see, yeah. a single garage. So lots to offer. Let's take you inside and show you the accommodation. Well, I think that's enough of that video. Um, I think you've all seen enough of my house. I'm probably sick to death of seeing it. Anyhow, it's been a very exhausting day. I can't find anything anymore because I hid things in the oven, the dishwasher and the microwave, the under the table, anywhere I could find a space really. And now I've got to try and find where I hid everything. She needed my passport for my ID. It took me a while to find it. I don't want to lose my passport, do I? I need that next week. Anyhow, I think I'm going to go and have a bit of a rest now. And fingers crossed, they find me a buyer. Thank you for watching my manic lifestyle. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Bye.